Welcome to this Nexus video that will show you how to move objects across the screen using a Promethean board. On the screen you will see that I have five different pictures and buttons. The buttons, when pressed, will make the pictures move across the screen until it reaches the blue line indicating the end of the quiz. As you can see from this example, the teacher is asking each group a question. As the group get the question right, their icon moves across the screen. The first team to finish crossing the blue line wins. I'm now going to show you how to start this from scratch. First of all, go to the resource browser. From there, select the bullet that you want to use for your quiz. So for this example, I'm going to use the blue bubble. I'm going to drag it and drop it onto my flip chart and adjust it. To make it easier for all the icons to look the same, I'm going to go to the property browser and I'm going to scroll down and select position. From position, I am going to change its height and its width. And for this example, I'm going to use 80 just to make sure all the icons look the same. Once I've done that, I will be going back to the resource browser and I will select my second number. And again, I'll pick it up and I'll drop it onto the flip chart. And then to make sure it appears the same as all the rest of the numbers, I go back to the property browser and once again change the width and the height to 80. Once I've done this, I can rearrange it onto the flip chart to make sure it's all in position. I'm now going to select my pictures that I want to go with each of the buttons. So I'm still in the resource browser. I'm going to select my cartoons, pick it up, drag it and drop it onto the flip chart. I'm then going to go to the property browser to adjust the pictures to make sure it's all the same height and the same length. And for this example, I'm going to use the width as 100 and to keep it in line with the icon numbers, I'm going to choose the height as 80. I'm going to pick it up and adjust it and put it next to the numbers. I'll go back to my resource browser and I'll select my second picture. Again, I'll pick it up, I'll drag it and drop it onto the flip chart. As you can see, the picture is facing the wrong way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Object Edit Menu, select Transform, scroll down and choose Flip Y Axis. It's now facing the right way. So I'm going to put it back onto the flip chart. I will then go back to the Property Browser and once again change its width and its height to match the other pictures. Once I've done that, I'll pick it up and I'll adjust it accordingly. I'm now going to do the same thing for number three, four and five. I'm now going to show you how to move the object. First of all, I click in the first button, number one, I go to the action browser and from there I select position incrementally. From here, I need to select my target that I want to move. And in this example, it's going to be the cat. I need to make sure the target matches the actual item I want to move. I press OK. And now I tell the axis that I want to move it 100 to make sure it matches the length of the picture that I changed in its properties. I apply the changes. I click out, you'll see a blue button and you know that it's working so I can now press it. I'll go back to number two. Again, I click on position incrementally. I select my target, this time it's the dinosaur. Again, make sure that the target matches the actual item you want to move. I press OK and once again change the axis to 100 to match the length of the picture. I apply the changes, click out, and I can now move the object. I now want to insert my finish line, so I go to the Shapes tool, I select my straight line, and I draw my finish line. 
I'll go back to my selector. I'll move the object back to its starting position. And I want five questions. So I need one, two, three, four. I need my finish line next to the picture. So I know when I press the fifth time, the picture will finish or cross the finishing line. 